Hey guys, it's Miko from Amazon Sound Lab, but I'm super happy to announce the 1.3 update for the Miko plugin line. So, the most important thing in this update is the Mac AAX support, which means that all you Mac Pro Tools users can finally use the Miko plugin without any wrappers. I don't mean this kind of wrappers, I mean plugin wrappers that enable you to use VST plugins inside your Pro Tools. Now you have the option to just load it in like you normally would. And uh, this covers all of the plugins in the Miko line. So that's the Player Essentials, um, Mars Silver, Orang, Bigner, Uber, and um, something cool to come really soon. Um, another cool thing to mention is that now the standalone version has a low latency mode. So if you're not using the low or high cut of the cut features on the right hand side, you can use the low latency mode of the Miko plugin, meaning that when you're playing through the plugin, it's super low latency and the quality of the low latency mode is just as good as the regular format. Obviously, it's been a long time since we've updated the Miko plugin. Well, relatively long time for ML Sound Lab at least. There are a bunch of bug fixes in there. Main one is that you used to have some problems when you're exporting MPT IRs where you could get a slap back in your IR, meaning that if you're using an IR loader that supports long formats, you may get a kind of a revert tail if you're using the minimum phase transform option on the export function. This has now been fixed. The MPT algo is completely new and much better anyways. So now that you export IRs in MPT format or regular RAW format, which is what I recommend to you use if you don't mix IRs in post, you'll have great results. And um, that's essentially it. Thank you for watching the video and go update your Mikos.